23-year-old Peggy Lynn Johnson is no longer a Jane Doe. The utter barbaric brutality inflicted on this young woman is something that none of us will ever forget. Friday, Racine Sheriff detailed her life and her brutal death, saying at 18, Johnson, cognitively impaired, her parents dead, went looking for help at a medical clinic in McHenry, Illinois. There, she met a registered nurse named Linda LaRoche, who recognized Peggy's disability and took her into her home. Authorities say that began years of abuse. Fast forward to September, when someone tipped the sheriff's office that LaRoche, now living in Cape Coral, Florida, was telling people that she had killed a woman back when she lived in Illinois. It's something that stays with you forever. Tears in her eyes, Megan Rios talked about the moment she found Johnson's body in 1999. She watched the sheriff's news conference as a witness to a mystery now solved. You take like a deep exhale of like, wow, and then the flood of emotion. The medical examiner said Johnson suffered multiple injuries, bruising on the face and upper torso. She was malnourished and head to foot had several suspicious marks, burns, abrasions, and lacerations. Peggy Lynn Johnson has been buried here in Caledonia for 20 years under the name of Jane Doe. The sheriff says soon she'll have a new grave in Illinois buried alongside her mother. Now she's not just the body, she's not just Jane Doe, she's this person, Peggy, who is tortured and killed, and it's just, it's heartbreaking. In Racine County, Terry Sater, WISN 12 News. 63-year-old Linda Sue LaRoche is now charged with first-degree intentional homicide and hiding a corpse. She'll be brought back to Wisconsin to face those charges in the coming days.